be one year to us. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz, best fight of all time. He's not letting me get in the car. I don't know what he's up to. All right, baby, we've been together for one year today. What is one thing you love about me and one thing you hate about me? One thing I love about you is how fun you are and how much fun we have and how bubbly and crazy we are. And one thing I hate about you is... <laughs> Make one, it good. One thing I hate about you is how you let Duke and Prince do whatever they want. So one thing I love about you is that you manage to make my days amazing even when I don't want them to be amazing. <laughs> like sometimes I just want to have a bad day and sulk and you don't let that happen and I really appreciate that. Sorry to ruin your mission. Sorry. One thing I hate about you is that you don't listen when I tell you to stop fucking with me. Like this. Yeah, and I'll be... <laughs> What's one thing that you learned about me? One thing I learned about you is that you're very emotional. For example, yesterday, when the phone fell on your head. There's already bed, tears forming in my eyes. And you cried for about a good four to five minutes. No, it was more than that, baby. You yeah. can be honest. And then I kept asking you why you're still crying if you're okay. You said, you don't know why you're crying. My period's starting in a couple days, and I've been so emotional. One thing I learned about you in this relationship is that you're actually emotional too. I just realized you said I was emotional. I feel like even just other people that are your friends but like obviously not as close to you as I am think that you're just kind of like you've got this very stoic demeanor. But he's actually got a little heart in you. What's one thing you noticed about me on our first date? I noticed that you were very charismatic. You were very the opposite of me. Like you're super bubbly, talkative, all those things and I'm like, I'm not that. I mean I can You are I now can be, but I'm not that like especially with strangers that I don't know. And I was like, I don't know, it's something about that felt like a good balance for me. And I've talked to people that are that way before and I've met people that are like that, but you had a special energy to you that I liked. What's one thing that surprised you about me? as you got to know me. How much of a goofball you are. The first time I realized you were a goofball was when we got to Vegas and I had a terrible migraine and I wanted to get in bed and you started doing somersaults throughout the room. You got naked and you started running around the hotel room. Dude, what? You did. I do not remember that. Like I had a migraine. My head was throbbing. The light was throbbing. I ended up falling asleep. I'm right like, after. damn, we just got to Vegas for I the first know. time. I've never been here. I know. And, and I was like kind of nervous too because I was like, you're about to meet my family. That's true, that. that's true. And then you were just like, you, you gotta just shut the fuck up, Ryan. <laughs> I did not say that. People as much as possible. What park is this? No. It's really pretty. Should we stop by? Garfield Park. This is the park I drove by the other day. Should we stop by this park? Yeah. I don't want to miss. Well, are we going to be late? Mm, no. This is really pretty. I've never seen this park before. No? Mm -mm. How far are we from the other spot? Four minutes. Yeah, I can be there anytime between 2 or 2.30. Wait, come on. What is it? Some stuff. This is the park that I drove by the other day and I saw, saw this little book stand and I got excited about it. All these books look not good though. Okay? Right. And then I got us Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> she came and set up everything, and Naomi came. Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. You, Naomi. It's <laughs> Look at this. I don't know how this Flies and shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. This was such a beautiful day. Now, before we get into this, I am gonna let you guys know. It's gonna look like Ryan is proposing. He is not. Uh, both of us knew that that was not going to happen today, but I did know that he had a gift for me. And this is basically him presenting me with a promise ring, which is something he told me he wanted to do after a year anyway. I just didn't really know if he was actually going to do it. But at this point, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, my man got me a promise ring and he's just expressing his love to me while my eyes are closed. And it was a really special moment. Unfortunately, I don't have the audio, but I was shaking. I was so excited. I was so happy. 
in all my years of living I've never been given a promise ring now this promise ring was very significant for the both of us first of all there's no rush for either of us to get married we know we want to spend the rest of our lives together we know that we want to start a family together there is absolutely no doubt in our minds but our love is still young and we're just taking the time to enjoy every moment of the relationship this is a very private moment obviously I don't have the audio my camera was way too far some things can remain private and personal to us but this was a really special day and I love my man I love love and I hope everyone else gets to experience a love like this in their life One year it deserves something. I know promise rings to some people are like corny or whatever, but for me it's it's a ring for her that says that I promise to marry her. I promise to be faithful and to be the best boyfriend that I can be and best one day husband I can be, best person I can be for you, and that hopefully one day we have a bunch of little minions and do our own thing and have our own dreams and goals we have together fruition and fruition 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 so for now she's got a papa's ring to be fair i was not expecting you to Pose. We do talk about getting married. We do talk about having children together. We talk about spending the rest of our lives together. So no, there was no expectation for him to propose or anything like that. But when I was showering today, I was like, I hope it's a promise ring. But I remember telling myself, like, if it's not a promise ring, I'm not going to be bummed out. Like, it's okay. It's a thought that counts. I'm happy with whatever he gets me. But in the back of my head, I was like, oh, promise ring would be really cool. And so then. But you should have expectations, you know? Everyone's gonna think I got engaged. Should we do like a Is fake proposing? Or I'm on no, 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 no. And also, I got her tacos. Yes. That's also a great thing. We're going to eat now and enjoy our date. And you lied. He said we weren't going here. And that we were four minutes away from our destination. That was a good trick, huh? It was a good trick. You were like, whoa, what is this park? And I said, I don't know, you wanna stop by? <laughs> you can stop by if you want to. So, trick, trick. 